Welcome to Hurricane Online. We're going to be taking you through a stretch today. It's very important that we keep to our stretching routines, maintain that flexibility and keep our body moving. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is an extended stretch. We're going to be starting with some dynamic stretches and then we'll move on to some static stretches. Okay, okay, so straight in, just start moving your arms. Nice big circles with those arms. That's the one. Excellent. Keep going. Let's rotate these arms, draw a nice big circle with them, and go the other way. Keep breathing as you're doing a stretch. Let's mobilize these arms. That's the one. Okay, hands up. Let's test your coordination. One forwards, one backwards. Between one arm forwards, one arm backwards. Change, go the other way. Brilliant, let's keep it going. And one up. One down, swing those arms. One arm up, one arm down. Like you say, we're going to be going through a dynamic stretch, elevate the heart rate, and then some static stretches as well. Hands up, stretch onto your toes, stretch high, and then just throw your arms back and jump. Just nice and relaxed stretch. Let the arms fall as they fall, sink the legs, and then just a little jump, stretch, and jump. Stretch, if you don't want to jump, just do a little, little squat on. Just relax the knees, soften them and jump. Stretch and jump. Let's go. Reach high as we can. Nice big stretch and hold. Nice and high. And relax, jump. Okay, brilliant. If the arms are little shake, swims, high elbows. Move your arms forward. Nice and high with the elbows, soften the knees, bend the legs. That's the one. And change, go the other way. Brilliant, keep it going. And shoulders forward, nice big circles. Try to touch, get the shoulders back, lift up, roll forward. Back, lift up and forward. Keep that motion, keep it going there. Here we go, back, up, forward, back, up, forward, that's the one. Brilliant, and change. Go the other way. Let us know where you're doing this workout from today, where you're doing your stretches. Maybe you're in the house, in the back, in the garden, the yard, whatever, in your room. Let us know where you're doing next stretches. Keep going. Okay, brilliant. Interlock the fingers at the back for me. What I want you to do is just open the chest out. So we pull the arms back, open that chest out, and then relax. Open out, relax. Open out, relax. Keep it going. Open out, and relax. One more. Open out, and relax. Okay, this time keep the hands interlocked. We're just going to slowly half circles at the bottom. Up and down. One way and the other way. And then half circles at the back. Back to the neck. Over from the left shoulder to the right. And back. Full circles. And change direction. Go the other way. Okay, heads left, hold. Right, hold. Okay, keep changing in your own time now, left and right. Stretch the neck and the traps. Keep going. And side, pull down to one side. What I want you to do is pull and then relax the shoulder. Pull, drop the shoulder down on this opposite side. And change. Hand up gently, apply a bit of pressure, relax the shoulder. Brilliant, hold on to the centre, down to the left, and down to the right. Bring you push it back, back to the left, back to the right. Okay, give those arms a little shake, 
brilliant. Okay, what I want you to do, nice and relaxed, reach out as if you're grabbing for something, and pull back, reach and grab. Let's move these arms, reach out and grab. Let's go. We're going to count one every time our right hand grabs. Okay, we're going to do 20. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, reach, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, if the arms shake, let's do the same thing to the side. Ready? Let's go. To the side, keep grabbing. Right out. Keep going. Grab, 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 keep reaching. And down, bend your knees. Grab and pull up. Grab, pull, grab, pull. Let's go, reach and pull. Okay, fantastic. Let's just reach up, pull down, reach up, pull down. We're going to twist across the body, pull back, twist the other way, pull back. Step your leg out slightly and turn your foot as we do it. One side, then the other. Turn, twist, grab, pull. Turn, twist, grab, pull. Keep it going. Remember to pull down. Okay, excellent. Just tap your back with your right arm. And place the left arm on the elbow. And then pull back. So we're stretching our triceps. Pull right back. Excellent. Hold that position. Turn the head to the left. Maintain the stretch. And interlock at the back. Try and reach for those fingers. If you can grab them, brilliant. If you can't, just go where you can reach. If you've got a pole, or a belt, or a towel, you can grab the towel with one hand and the other. That will give you a bit more leverage, and you'll find you might be able to get a better stretch like that. Okay, just relax. Give those arms a little circle, both ways, a little shake. Let's tap the back with the left hand. Place the right hand on the elbow and gently apply a bit of pressure and pull back. That's the one. Hold it there. Excellent. Keep it going. And look to the right. Keep maintaining the stretch. Keep pulling. And again, let's try and bring that right hand on the back and interlock those fingers and hold it there. That's the one. Excellent. Let's hold that stretch. Hold. Then with a breathing, keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Okay, brilliant. Give your arms a little shake. Okay, fantastic. What I'm going to do is right arm out in front, bring it across the body. So across to the left side, pull up with this arm. Keep the, the arm straight, don't let it dip down. You want to show the height. I'm going to pull across, soften the knees, bend the legs slightly, and then I want you to turn into the shoulder. Okay, hold it like that and pull. Don't just hold the arm, pull so we feel a stretch, okay? Excellent. Maintain that stretch, just bend your arm, point your fingers up, and then pull in and down with this other arm. In and down, that's the one. Feel that stretch? Okay, give the arms a little shake. Okay, same with the other arm, left arm out. Twist it across the body, right arm under, and pull back. Keep it shoulder height, you don't want to point it down, you want to point it nice and straight. Pull across, then stretch the shoulder. Look to the left, maintain the stretch, that's the one. Soften the knees, point the fingers up, and pull in and down, in and down. Fingertip point up. Okay, give the arms a little shake again. Remember we're going through an extended stretch today on these. Okay, give the arms a little shake. Okay, fantastic. What we want you to do now is place your wrist or your hand on your waist, side of the waist, outside your hand on the waist. Elbow, hand on the elbow again, gently apply a bit of pressure. We'll pull it in this time. If you want, you can fold down and use your inside of your right thigh to move that right arm. Okay, brilliant. Time to change. Give that arm a little shake, same thing. Wrist on the waist, hand on the elbow. Gently apply a little bit of pressure and pull up. Down, twist across. Okay, fantastic.
fantastic, all of there. Really need to give a little shake. Okay, if you've got a wall, what I want you to do is put flat on your right arm, flat on the wall. Okay, your fingertips are facing that way, your body is facing that way. Palm is flat. We're going to rotate now towards the direction to the left, okay? Back towards the direction where your fingertips are pointing. Keep the arm nice and straight, don't let it bend. Keep the shoulder height. Okay, and keep twisting and just hold that. Don't let the palm come away from the wall. You should feel a stretch going right the way down. Your forward arms through your biceps. If this is a nerve stretch, okay? So we're stretching the nerve here, right up to the shoulder. And chin, let's do the other arm. Left arm on the wall, flat with the palm. Turn, rotate those legs round. Again, lean, push the hips out. So we're leaning back into it, okay? Fantastic, hold that stretch there. When you get to your whatever's the maximum stretch for you, that's where we're holding. Don't overstretch, but again, don't overstretch. It's got a challenge. Otherwise, we don't progress, it doesn't change. Hold it there. Okay, brilliant. Give the wrists a little bit of shake. Circles with these wrists. Go the other way. And again, the other way. Last one, the other way. Okay, excellent. What I want you to do now is just grab your fingers, right arm, grab your fingers with the left hand and pull. Straighten the arm up. So we're bending those fingers back. There. Keep them straight, keep the arms straight as well. Okay, and change arms. Grab the left top fingers, straighten the arm and pull back. Stretching the forearms as well. We're doing a lot of work when we're doing our strikes. Wrists, fingertips coming in towards the arm now. Pull in, you can have that like this. Fingers up, pull down, or fingers down and pull in. It's up to you. Try both, see what one way is best for you. Pull the thumb in, push, so stretching along here now. And change. Do the wrist, pull back. Shake. Okay, fantastic. Move these arms again. Let's go. Let me go to a stance this time. Just move your arms out and in. And change. Go the other way. The other hand. The other foot. Okay, fantastic. Little shake. Twist your left. One, two, three, four, five. To your right. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the left. Turn. Right, left, right. Let's go, twist, twist. Turn onto your toes as we do it. What I want you to do now is twist as far around as you can. Right the way around and pull. And back the other way. Twist right the way around. Pull away. Hold it there when you get to that maximum stretch. And back to both ways. Let's go. Turn. Go take the waist. Nice big twist. One way and the other way. Fantastic. Keep it going. Nice big circles with the hips. Let's go. Right the way around. There we go. Big circles. Make sure you keep the legs straight as we're doing this. And go the other way. Right the way around. Legs straight. Big circles. That's the one. Keep it going there. And change the other way. Let's mobilize a bit bigger, as big as we can. Right the way around. Change. And again, the other way. Keep it going. Let's mobilize the waist. Okay, give these legs a little shape. What we're going to do now is go back to our twist. But this time, we're going to bend our leg. We're going to bring our right arm down and our left leg across. Okay? Let's go. Twist. One. Two. Three, excellent. Four, one more. Five, let's do the other leg for five. One, two. Step and twist, three. You can do a little jog if you want. Four, and five. Let's do four off the other side. One, two, three, four. The other way. One, 
two, twist across. Three, four, and change. Three, one, two, lift. Three, go the other way, twist the body. One, hand up high, twist across. Two, three, let's do the other leg. One, two, and change. One, two, last one. And the other one. Excellent, back into our hip. Big circles again. Right the way around. Let's mobilize this waist. Change. Okay, back to our twist. This time with a straight leg, okay? So we bring our arm down. We bring our leg up straight, okay? One, good. We're gonna do a different one each time. Two, so it's one leg. Then the other way, good. Keep it going. That's five, six. We're going for ten, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Okay, fantastic. What we're going to do? Give your legs a little shake. We're going to do some lunges. Okay, so just a little step, bend down, and then back. But we're not doing them narrow. We're not going narrow. We're doing a big step. And then back, okay. Let's do this. Ready? Sink down low, hold, and then come back. Sink down low, hold, and then come back. If you need to use your hands to come back, that's fine. It's not, a, it's not we're not focusing on, on the strength aspect of this, we're just focusing on stepping forward, coming back, sinking down low, getting that stretch underneath the legs, on the hamstrings and also on the groin, okay? So if you look, look, my heel is up as I'm doing it, I go onto my toes. Do on one leg, and then the other leg. Okay, let's hold one leg down, heel up, and from this position I need to come straight, and then down. So we go down and up, let's go. Keep going. Let's do five more. Sink, three more, last two, last one. Let's do the other leg, sink down low, and up, down, and up, let's go, we're doing ten. One, two, three, four, again if you need to use your hands that's fine, five, six, the main thing we're after is the stretch, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, okay, fantastic. It's going to a march for me. Nice and high, drive the leg in. Okay, right leg by itself, up and then down. Two, three, four, five, change legs. One, two, three, four, Five, do the leg for four, one, two, set, three, set, lift, four, and change legs. Nearly did the bonus one then. Two, keep lifting, three, four, come on, five, okay, three off this leg, one, two, three, and change, one, two, three, so we're not bouncing up and down, we're just driving the leg up, two, one, Two, do the leg. One, two, and for one, one, one. Excellent. Let's do the same thing to the side. You ready? Let's go for five. Right leg out. One, two, and again. I'm not bouncing up and down. I'm just drag. I'm using the muscles. No momentum. No bounce. Just a lift and down. Three, four, and five. Do the leg. One. Two, three, four, five, and four, one, two, three, four, the other way, one, two, lift, three, four, to mobilize, bonus one there, three off this side now, one, two, three, so we're working these hips, working the mobility, we're not using momentum to help us do it, okay? Two, one, two, two, one, two, one each, 
one, one, excellent. Okay, this time we're going to go up and out, up, out to the side, up, out to the side. That's two. Lift, lift, two more. Lift, lift to the side. Last one. Change legs. Up, out, up, out, up, out. Two more. Lift. Lift to the side, drive the knee, lift the leg, change legs. Four of these, that's one. Two, when we do the side, don't turn your body, keep looking the same direction. Three, and four, change legs. Up, and out. Up, and out. Up, rest, out, rest. Up, out. Okay, so not. Bouncing, we just lift them. Three off the right, up and out. So let's go. Up and out. One more. Up and out. Change legs. Up, out. Drive, lift, lift, drive. One more. Lift, lift. To the other leg. Two. Good. One more. One to the other side. Two. That's the one. Last one, lift, lift, last one, lift, lift, fantastic, okay, nice and relaxed, what we're going to do is go into some kicks, okay, nice and easy, we're just going to lengthen, so it doesn't matter if it's there, whatever your flexibility allows, we're not firing them out, we're just going nice and easy, one, two, three, just bending and extending the leg, forward, four, five, let's do the other leg, one, two, three, four, five, and change. One, two, three, four, the other leg. One, pause, two, hold, three, four, go the other way for three. One, two, three, change leg, let's go. One, Two, keep lengthening the leg, nice and relaxed. Three, two, one, two. Let's do the other side. One, two, last one, one, and one. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do is all of them combine together. So we're going to do five of both legs. We're going to lift, lift, then kick. Okay? So we're going to do ten in total. We alternate each side each time. Let's go. Lift. Side, kick, the other leg, lift, lift, kick, let's go, lift, lift, kick, change legs, lift, lift, kick, the other leg, up, out, and kick, up, out, and kick, change legs, let's go, lift, lift, and kick, and again, lift, lift, and kick, change legs, up, out, kick the other leg, drive, drive, push, one more each side, remember we're not bouncing, lift, pause, lift, pause, kick, down, change legs, lift, pause, lift, pause, kick, okay, fantastic, give those legs a little shake, should be starting to feel a bit warmer in those legs now, with those dynamic stretches, what we're going to do, is we're going to go into a sink, in a lunge like we did before, so we're going to go down, this time, we're going to come back, we do the other leg, down, come back, then we lift, straight leg, then the other leg straight, okay? Nice and relaxed, not overly extended, just nice and cool, okay? Down, and back, down, and back, lift the left leg, nice and straight, then the right leg, sink down, and lunge, nice and long lunge, down, then the left leg, then the right leg. Okay, so we're just dynamically working these stretches. Okay, nice and loose, swing, swing. There we go, sink again. One, two, Let's lift. One, two, keep it going. Nice and long. One, two, big swing. One, Two, okay. Just what I want you to do, 
and you bring your heels up to your bum, okay? Nice kicks, heel flips, try and get it all the way, and just start jogging on the squat if you can. If not, a march is fine. Okay, we to go three seconds as fast as we can. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, jump the legs out. Let's keep these dynamic stretches going. We're going to bend, sink, reach, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. As we straighten, we're lengthening the legs out. Keep our body position the same. Lift our tailbone up to the ceiling. Okay, let's go down. Lengthen, construct from the side, down, lengthen up, so drawing these hamstrings up to the ceiling, keep it going in your own time, down and up. Keep that going, just a very split second pause on each one. Okay, fantastic. Shake those legs out. This time we're going to go into a windmill. Widen the legs out. Toes point forward. Breathe in. As you breathe out, reach down and hold. We're going to twist across. Left arm to the right side. Right arm to the left side. You try and reach for your feet if you can. Go past them if you can. Do that as well. We keep our legs nice and straight. Don't bend your knees. And keep reaching. Let's go. One way and the other way. Rotate from your waist and the opposite hand lifts up, okay? Keep going like that. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend and lengthen. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Fantastic. What I want you to do now is just hold to your left leg, hold it down. Again, we're looking to keep this leg straight, don't let it bend, just keep it nice and straight for now. Let's hold for ten, ready? Let's go. Last five seconds, keep going. And excellent, bring yourself over to the other side. Reaching down. Hold that position. Go another five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Back into our bend for five this time. Straight up, one, bend, two, bend, three, bend, lengthen, one more, sink, and lengthen. Fantastic. Reach back to your left. We're going to go for five this time. Bend your leg, sink down, and then straighten that leg up. Good. Sink, pull in, grab yourself and pull in, straighten up. One, bend again. Straighten. Two, and bend. Straighten. Three, two more. Bend. Straighten up. Four, last one. Bend. Straighten that leg, trying to stay low. Excellent. Bend both legs. Let's go to the other side. Keep this leg nice and straight. Ready, hold it, bend and straighten. Let's go. Bend, straighten, one. Bend, sink up, two. Sink down even, lift up high. Two more. Last one, bend, sink. Lift and straighten and lengthen the hamstring. Okay, fantastic. Keep your heels on the floor and reach forwards. 
as far forwards as we can, lifting the tailbone, walk yourself back to the centre, try and get your forearms on the floor or your head if you can, and then reach behind, forwards again, hold out as far forwards as we can. Keep lifting the tailbone up to the ceiling. Back to the centre. Now behind. Okay, fantastic. Bend those legs. Place your forearms or elbows on your thighs. What we're going to do is just push back this way, okay? So we're stretching our brain. We're going to gently move side to side. We're getting that stretch on the groin, controlled motion side to side. Okay, bring the hands down on the inside of the thighs. Squat down as low as we can. Hold that position. Lengthen up. Straighten those legs up. Sort of point them the toes out. It's called 3D stretching on the hamstrings. Try and point your toes out a bit more if you can. Shift my feet. Okay, I'll turn the toes facing in. They're not forwards, they're not out. We turn them facing in. You get an extra stretch down the outside of the lateral hamstring and also on, onto your core, onto your, your calf muscle, your gastrocnemius. Both there. Okay, excellent. Sit down. Have a lift. Give your legs a little shake. Fantastic. Let's go back to our lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Okay, fantastic. What we're going to do is sink into our front stretch now, so we're going to hold the position, okay? So nice long step. I'll show you from the side. Big step forward, soles of your feet on the floor. Sink down nice and low. Shoulders tall. And what we're going to do is hold that position there, okay? So we're going to hold for ten. One, two. Sink in low. Hips low, shoulders back, five more seconds. Fantastic, what we're going to do, hold the stretch, point these arms out and rotate to the back, okay? Hold that position if you can. If you can't hold with your hands up, just use your hands to support you, a bit of support on your legs, okay? If you really need to, you can come down to the floor as well. Okay, hold that position. Hold for three seconds or so, then reach out to the front, stretch forwards. Again, we're not turning the foot just yet. Come back. Lying down, reach forwards, thigh, touching your stomach if you can, stretch out. Again, you can use these hands on the floor if you want. Okay, and change, let's go the other way. Sink in. Nice and low. If the knee is going past the toes, you need to lengthen that back leg out, okay? So we can correct the body position. Lengthen the leg, because otherwise you're not getting a stretch right across the hamstrings and the groin. Keep that leg, soles of your feet on the floor. Nice and tall with the shoulders, chest nice and tall. Open, open the chest out, shoulders back. 10 seconds, hold it there. Keep that position. Okay, fantastic. Let's do what we did before. Rotate. Hold for three seconds. And forward. Reach. As far forward as we can. Come back. Reach. Keep going in your own time with this. Let me count, put your hands down if you need to or use them on your waist and thigh, or your knee. Stretch 
stretch it out. Let's do one more. Hold a bit longer. And reach. Okay, fantastic. Come back to the centre. Let's go forward, centre, behind. Forward, centre, behind. Reach, down, behind. Lift the tailbone, stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Lift your backside up to the ceiling. Okay, into a back into our front stretch. Heel up this time at the back. So square the hips up. Sink a lot up. Hold that position, excellent. Hips nice and low, legs nice and long. Shoulders tall, chest open. And hold for 10. Try and lengthen if you can. Okay, fantastic. Reaching up again. Nice and high, I'm going to turn to the front. Up here, reach forwards, really stretch to the sides, come up and forwards, stretch to the side. What I want you to do now is drop this knee down, okay? So I'll turn back this way so you can see. Drop the knee down, reach down with the head towards the floor. And hold that position there. Okay, excellent. Change. Let's go the other way. So we turn, turn the hips, heel up at the back, get your feet set, sit down on this leg, don't let the knee go past the toes. Hips to the floor, shoulders back and high, chest open. Use your hands. So it's back nice and tall, help you get that posture. Hold for 10. Let's go. Hold it there. Nice and strong in the legs. Long in the stretch. Okay, let's go for our reaches again. I'll scroll to the front again. Okay, let's go. Reaching up, stretch high. Reach forward as far forward as we can. And to the side. And back up to the top. Stretch high. Forward. Nice and long. Stretch as far as you can. Keep the knee off the floor for now. Back to the side. Okay, drop the knee. So the knee's now down on the floor. We're going to bring that hand in the right hand inside the right leg. Grab the leg. Put the other hand on top, reach down with the head and hold. Fantastic, okay. Come from a kneeling position. What I want you to do is put your leg up to the outside. If you can, go from a crouch position. Then lengthen that leg out, okay? It's a side stretch position. Hold it there. So side stretch, we push out on this inside of your thigh with your elbow. Lock the hand down to hold it in place. We turn this foot so the sole of the extended foot on the extended leg. We point the toes, okay? So we want to try and make a right angle at the ankle joint and have the sole of the foot on the floor. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to lock the leg out and tear, we'll take the hips. Fantastic, hold it there. Keep pushing out on this hand. Concentrate on the foot position, you've got to tense the muscles around your ankles. Reach it down. Reach with this foot as well, okay? Hold that position, try and get your head down.
Okay. Oh, brilliant. Toes pointing up, same leg. Slightly different emphasis on the stretch. So you can only just push down on the, your thigh, your forearm for now. So we're guiding that thigh towards the floor. Okay, fantastic. Now you can, you're just going to reach wherever that stretch is for you. Hold it there, reach for your foot if you can. If you can't grab your foot, don't just hold it. We want to pull back on these toes, okay? We're going to just on the ball of the foot. So we're going to stretch our soleus as well in the calf, okay? Keep it going, hold it there. Okay, brilliant. Let's go the other way. Side stretch position. Push out with the elbow. Tear the foot. Hands on the floor. Again, apply this elbow to get a bit of leverage on this knee. Lock it in with the hand. Tear the foot, get the correct foot positions. Concentrate on the little details. We focus on the little details, the big things take care of themselves, okay? They all add up. All the little details make the big thing happen. Keep that leg nice and straight. It's gonna to wanna to bend, okay? Especially if you're maybe not as flexible in the groin. Again, if you want to, you can come onto the knee. Okay, if you feel an excess pressure on that knee, just drop down, use your hands for support as well. The main thing we're concerned with is getting a stretch on the groin. As long as you're managing to do that, that's fine. Hold that position. Again, let's do what we did before, reach down. Try and reach for your foot if you can, or as far down as you can, and your head towards the floor. It doesn't matter if you can't reach it, you go to where you can go and we build upon getting you further and further, okay? Every time we do it, we get a little bit better. We take those little steps and they end up to be a big journey. Every step works towards improvement. Keep going. Fantastic. Toes point long. Again, let's apply pressure with the forearm and elbow down onto the thigh. Fantastic, keep going, hold it there. And reach for the foot and pull back. Keep it going there. Hold that position. Hold it out, it's doing great. Sit back, nice and relaxed into a wide stretch. Okay, so you're just gonna lift, shift your waist in, lift up, and then just try and pull your waist in a little bit closer. Okay, so we're increasing that angle between the legs. Just sit up nice and tall, hands behind, and then I want you to draw your shoulder blades together. Feel, point your toes up, don't let them flop. I want strong feet. So you've got to tense your tibialis anterior, which is the muscle at the side of your shin. Keep nice and tall, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Just relax, okay? This time what I want you to do is stay tall, but tense your quads as well, okay? So contract your quads, and that is gonna lengthen your hamstrings and the inside of your groin as well, okay? Keep going, keep your toes curled back towards you, tense as hard as we can, strong contraction on them quads. It's gonna force them legs down, length, excuse me, lengthen them the hamstrings out, and relax, okay? Point your toes this time. Point your toes away from you. Try and push in a bit further. Keep the toes pointed. And contract again, squeeze, tense the quads. Stay tall, squeeze the shoulder blades, curl your toes back towards you. Tense your glutes as well. And point your toes, try and sit in a bit further. Fantastic, hold it there. Keep pointing the toes really, apply a bit of pressure to point them down. Okay, brilliant. Let's reach for the center. Just go to where you can go. Hold, if you can only go there, or 
here, that's great, we hold it there, okay? If you can go further, go a bit further, but be honest with yourself in your capacity, okay? Don't overdo it, but again, don't underdo it. You just need to find that balance where you're getting a stretch that's gonna progress you, gonna develop you, okay? And improve that flexibility, which is what we're working on. Reaching down. Let's go, reach down to one side, try and grab your foot if you can, ankle, shin, thigh, knee, whatever you can reach, hold it there. Reach down with one hand, pull down or on the side, so we're leaning down sideways with this, okay? So you can draw that hand past the inside of the leg or the outside, grab the side of the foot and pull. So you should feel a stretch on your waist here as well. Side on. Okay, let's go the other way. Let's do the same thing. Reaching down on the side. Sideways with this part of your body. If you're really flexible, you'll be able to reach over on the side and grab with this hand. I know some of you will be able to do that. Reach down. I like to keep this leg straight, apply a bit of pressure with this hand as well, which keeps that leg nice and straight. Again, we're not being down there. I want you to stay back with this shoulder. So we're stretching the waist here. I'm going to lean down in a sec. Okay, give the legs, bring them in. Keep your legs a little shake. Side to side, up and down. Butterfly stretch. Heels right in and bounce your legs up and down. Nice and relaxed, control the motion. Nice and easy. And press down, hold. We're trying to get the outsides of the thighs towards the floor, okay? So that's the focus, that's what we're aiming for. Hold it down. And relax. As you reach down, don't focus on your legs. If you can do both, fantastic. If not, don't worry. The main focus now is head down towards Chin towards your feet, okay? Or head towards your feet. I know some of you are really flexible. You can get your chin to the floor, okay? So hold it there. Ready? Don't worry about pushing down. Just reach down with your head towards your, the floor. And again, hold it where you can. And let's hold for five seconds. Let's go. And sitting up, bounce. Relax those legs. And reach down again for another five. Hold it there. Okay, fantastic. Bounce again. Then from one leg out, we'll go to a half butterfly stretch. From here, one left leg is in, right leg is out. We're gonna reach down for the foot, ankle, shin. Again, if you can't reach, grab your ankle or shin or get a towel and pull yourself Use that as a lever or your belt. Ideal stretching tool, okay? Reach down. Just hold it where you can feel the stretch. Maintain in that position. And twist. So look towards the leg that's bent. Place the right hand on the thigh. Use it as leverage and twist across. Looking behind and twist the other way. Left hand on the right leg, twist to the back. Okay, fantastic. Change legs. Let's put that leg out. Draw this leg in. Left leg extended, right leg in. Same as before, reaching down to where that level is. Get on level, that's going to progress here and hold. back and 
кости едва. Okay, brilliant. Let's go. Give the legs a little shake. Okay, cross the leg. I'm going to wait on these twists a little bit. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to put our right leg over our left. Okay, and place it on the floor. Shoot the left arm out. Wrap it around your right leg and hug. From here, drive or pull it up nice and tall. Okay, sit up really tall. Pull. And from this position, pull across and twist this way. You ready? Pull tall, pull across this way. Use the arm to really pull. Stay nice and tall and twist. I sometimes provide a little bit of extra support on this hand. That is going to ensure that your back stays nice and straight and I get an extra stretch. I'm using it to leverage me up nice and close. Pull and twist. You can. Do it with both hands and twist. Okay, do the other leg. You should feel that right on the glutes. Cross over. Shoot that arm out, hug the left leg. Pull nice and tall. And twist, pull across. So pull across first, pull tall, pull across, and then twist. And then pull again. Keep it going, stay tall, stay close, keep pulling in and staying tall and twisting across. Pull across, twist, pull. And give those legs a little shake. Left from both legs out, reach down, shins, knees, ankles, feet. Keep the feet together, don't let them fold out like this, okay? Ideally, you can place them on a, on a wall. Okay, that's going to keep them nice and flat as well, okay? I'm not going to use the wall behind me, I'm just going to show you from the front. So you can reach to the sides and try and broaden the feet out so they're not turning on an angle, which is often what they want to do because the, the calves are getting stretched or the hamstrings, okay? And it feels a little bit uncomfortable, but that is where the stretch is, okay? That's where we need to maintain. So hold it there. That's if you can reach again, if you can't reach your toes, use a belt, use a towel, use something that can provide you that leverage. Hold it there, and relax. Okay, this time I want you to reach forwards as well. So we're going to reach down with our head, just to wherever you can reach. If that's here, that's fine. Wherever you feel a stretch, maintain it and hold it there. Relax, try and get a bit further now, try and go all the way, or as far as you can, let's go. Okay, excellent, give a little shake. Okay, from here, I'm going to lie back, pull that leg into your chest, knee right into your shoulder, pull in, hold for five, four, three, two and one so we're going to extend the leg up sole of your foot up to the ceiling so toes kill towards your body sole of your foot up try and grab the sole of your foot and pull in if you can't grab the sole of your foot grab your shin pull down so you're pulling down now not in foot up and pull down again you can grab your thigh if you need to and pull in but don't let the foot bend Keep it pointing up to the ceiling, okay? Pull down. And change legs. Pull in. As much as you can, pull that leg right in. Sole of your foot pointing up to the ceiling. Down and lengthen that leg out. Little shake. Turn onto your left side for me. Pull your right leg back, drag your foot or your ankle, and then just pull that leg back when you go knee higher first. Pull up, 
knee nice and high if you want you can lift this leg up off the floor provide an extra stretch so you're pulling this leg stretching the hamstring pulling this one stretching the quads the front of the back again we don't want to be comfortable we want to feel the stretch hold where we can feel that stretch and prop the right leg inside of your thigh towards the floor just put the left leg on top and draw it down towards the floor extend this right arm out hold it there okay fantastic change legs turn on to the right side pull the left leg back Again, if you want, lift this leg off the floor. Try and grab, if you can't grab your foot, just grab the back of your leg. Grab your foot if you can, pull right back. Hold it there. And inside your left thigh, thigh towards the floor. Prop the right leg up. Gently push it down towards the floor, okay? Hold me, feel a stretch. Stretch that IT band. Okay, bring your legs into your chest, full flex. What I want you to do is just rock forwards and backwards. Keep it. The legs nice and close to the body. Try and keep your head on your thighs if you can. Couple more. Okay. Onto your hands and feet. What I want you to do is go to widen your legs out wide. There, drop your hips towards the floor, so legs wide, stroll, so into a stroll position, okay? Show you from the front, hands down, legs wide. You're going to draw your hands towards your hips, what I do is a turn, so my fingertips are pointing towards my body, okay? That's going to give you a little bit more stability. And what we're going to do is drop the hips low, keeping the legs off the floor, and look up behind, okay? up to the ceiling, hold that position, okay and then kneel down, peel back, so a modified wide cat stretch, stretch out, sink your bum down, Let's crawl back forward again into that stretch, Lift up. If you, need, if you need to, you can drop your knees and thighs to the floor. If you can, keep them lifted off the floor. What I want you to do now is turn. So you are turning the hip. So the hip is facing down. And the left leg is out on the side of your foot. And look up to the ceiling again. So we're focusing just on that right leg now. On the hip flexors. And change. So shift the feet the other way. Again, now we're focused looking up. Now we're focusing on that left leg. Okay, crawl back into a full cat stretch, feet together. Bump on your heels, reaching forwards. Stretch out. Your arms to the legs. Grab your legs and curl. Use your arms to pull yourself in into a little ball. Knees and hands on the floor. We're going to arch our back, so tailbone up to the ceiling. Looking up, and then curve the spine, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Looking back towards your belly button. Push away in your palm. And just alternate between the two. Arching the back, lifting the tailbone. And Head in the spine. 
keep going. Back to that head stretch.